Hey there, you're watching Bare Knuckle Binder. Welcome to the channel. I know I started this channel as a way to help people fix stuff, and I've gotten a little sidetracked with saving trucks and driving across the country, etc., and so on, which is nothing wrong with. It's very cool, and I, I think y'all enjoy that too, but uh, I wanted to make a quick video today and get back to my roots of showing you how to fix something or how to, I guess, diagnose something. So uh, I've got a voltage drain on the element 22 that's why i've got the battery charger here and uh, i'm going to show you a quick way to try to figure out where the voltage drain is coming from now to do this little trick the little diagnosis trick you need a test light just you know like one of these dash lights and two alligator clips on the other end all right so there's a battery now i suspect it's this alternator it's been doing funny business ever since i put it on in the junkyard in California so um, but I'm not sure so this is one of those things where I'm I hate to just throw money or just random guesses at a problem so I want to make sure it's that for sure so here's the trick I'm gonna remove the positive terminal from the battery all right so with that off take your test light Hell, we can clip it right on there and clip it right on here. Now, check it out. The light's on. So what this tells us is that power is flowing through there. And if there's no voltage drain, this light won't be on. So to test the alternator real quick, you can just pull this guy right here. Light goes out. Well, it looks like there's a very tiny voltage drain still. We'll figure that out. But it does tell me that the alternator itself is drawing a lot of power. So here, I'll go back in and watch that light. Hey, she's really drawing power. So now I can unplug that. The light's very dim, but it's still drawing power. So I can track down the other thing at my leisure here, but the point of this is that, that that will tell you, this light will tell you if your battery's draining at rest because uh, the only way to measure voltage is if it's flowing. And if it's flowing, it'll light up this light. So, so all right, well, hopefully that helps somebody. Uh, test light's a good thing to have. I'll show you in... Uh, a video I'm going to do really soon about how to do static timing on ignition uh, so you don't have to use a timing light that's uh, actually the way I prefer and for that you need this test light too so if you haven't got one get one they're really easy to make it's nearly free all right see you soon